If you're like me, when you start a new React project, you probably use Create React App. But the problem with Create React App for me is sometimes it's just overkill for what I need. I'm not always building a full-fledged React application. Sometimes I'm just doing a practice project or just playing around with something new I learned. And I don't need a whole, I don't need everything that Create React App comes with out of the box. If you look at it, it's actually pretty bloated out of the box. So I was looking for a lighter weight weight to set up a new React project without downloading all this stuff. So I wanted to show you uh, how big Create React App is out of the box. So I just created a new React App with Create NPX Create React App. And then right out of the box, after you install everything, it's 254 megabytes, which is kind of a lot just for a starter React project. So it has to download all these dependencies and everything. And you might be wondering, okay, what do you all get out of the box with Create React App? Now, some of it's useful uh, for some use cases. So here's everything you get with Create React App. So what it gives you is testing. So it can get you started with testing. Service workers, if you're making a progressive web app, uh, gives you some logos for React if you really need that. Uh, manifest JSON again for progressive web apps and some other nice stuff like ESLint so it gives you ESLint out of the box which can be useful but like I said a lot of the times I'm just making practice projects so I don't really need all of this bloat I guess you'd call it so instead of this 254 megabyte project what I have right here is just 25 megabytes so it's a tenth of the size, which is pretty good. And what I do is I use Parcel instead. So what Parcel does is, Parcel is just a JavaScript bundler. It combines all your code and dependencies into one file. So instead of doing this uh, Create React app, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to npm install globally, let me say install globally Parcel and that's all you need to get started and then I'm gonna make a new directory called new react app CD into that and I'm going to npm init dash y so what this does is it basically sets up a package.json for you and the dash y normally it would ask you a few questions before you start like version number of the project name of the project but I don't care about any of that so dash y it just says yes to everything and so basically it gives us this package.json right here you know package.json I'm gonna close this out and open up this project and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to install react and react dom so these are the only two libraries with react that you really need to get started Okay, so after that is installed, I'm just going to basically put in the bare minimum of files that I use for my React apps. So you need index.html. I'm going to paste this in here that I wrote before. And this is basically just importing the index.js, which we don't have. So I'm going to create a new folder called src for source. Add index.js. I'm just going to copy and paste this so I don't have to write it all out again. copy this so this is just importing react uh, importing app and putting app inside the inside the div with the ID of root so basically we're, we're replacing this with our react app and finally we got to add the app the app component so I'm going to import it from here create a new app.js inside the source folder and this is your most basic React component. So I'm just printing out hello world. And then that's all you need to start with the React project. So I'm just going to say parcel. And then you want to point it to the HTML file. Parcel index.html. And it's going to say we're not running at localhost 1234. So let me click that. Loading a bit. And we got hello world. All right, perfect. And the nice thing about Parcel is it has a bunch of nice features built in already, like it supports JSX and everything, so you don't need to set all that up. And it also supports hot reloading, so you're not missing out like any big
big features from create react app so let's say uh, another sentence and then it automatically hot reloads that I didn't have to refresh the page or anything so your development experience is still nice you're not like missing out on a whole bunch of features by not using create react app it's just whenever you don't need to use all of these bloated features because most of the time you're not going to be using it unless you're making a full-fledged application stuff like testing so if you're just playing around with react I really recommend setting up this so this is nice but I wanted to make it a little bit faster because you know you still have to type in all this stuff copy and paste these files so it's a little bit more work to set up than create react app where you just type in one command and it's finished so I wanted to do the same like set up a set up a script to be able to bootstrap a new project in just one command so I wrote a bash script I'm gonna open it up here CSH PA slash CPA okay and this is just the bash script I have here so if you don't know anything about bash scripting this is basically just like doing everything we just went over making the directory uh, CD and into the directory setting up with npm installing uh, pasting in these files oh and one thing I forgot to show you is you can also add this to the scripts so let me go back here um, let me go to the package.json here and sometimes maybe you don't want to type in parcel index.html it's easier just to type in npm start like you usually do when you want to start the development server so what you can do is you can put that script in here start and then let's say uh, parcel index.html and now you can just type in npm start here and the development server is started okay so that's basically what the script is doing it's adding in this with a unix command if this doesn't make any sense to you uh, it's not too complicated but basically what I can do is type in CPA and then another react project and it sets up all this with one command and in just like two seconds it's up and ready so that's pretty nice so if you want this nice little bash script I added uh, I have a link I have a link in the description to my github where you can download this but if you want to use this uh, download this to your computer and then you want to create an alias to it in your shell config so I use zshrc you might want to put this in your bash rc if you have bash but inside my zshrc go down to here so basically I aliased CPA for create parcel app I guess to the basically just the path of my script so this is where mine is you would put in wherever you save the script to and then you can just type CPA and then the name of the project that you want to start and it's also nice because it's just a, it just loads a lot faster so my little command it takes about two or three seconds whereas create react whereas create react app it takes like a minute and a half sometimes probably because I have slow internet but that's another story alright so that's basically how I do it it makes my life a lot easier if I'm making a quick little react project I just type CPA and I'm done so I like having that so yeah check out the script if you want to and hopefully this makes things a little easier for you alright take care